Hi, I'm Sharifa Fazlin and this is my YouTube channel. So I am the organic expert from The Organic Room. Today, I'm going to talk to you about um, menopausing, premenopause or perimenopause as they say. This is really a very tough time for me and um, it started off at the age of 45 when I realised that my eyesight starts to be blurry and then I cannot see as per normal. Um, I have to put my phone like really far for me to read the text and also if I want to see something near, I have to like take off my glasses and then I can see extremely clear. It's so strange, it's really so strange. I felt really sad at first and it was extremely emotional for me because I find that, oh my God, I am growing older. But as I go along, I learn more about this perimenopause thing and understand more about my body and how to fix it. So symptoms are very wide range, very, very wide range. So things like you feel fatigue and some days you really feel super, super tired, like as though you have been training for the Olympics or something. And then some days you really cannot sleep, like your body is tired, your eyes are tearing up, but you just cannot fall asleep until like 3, 4 a.m. in the morning. It's terrible, I tell you. And then some days you feel like um, super sad, like there's nothing wrong in this world or your life, but you just feel so sad, so sad, like as though you have lost someone in your life or, you know, something broke or whatever, you know, you lost your diamond ring, that kind of feeling, but nothing has happened. You just feel like crying the whole day, not getting up from your bed. So if you think that it feels like um, premenstrual symptoms, not really. It is even more than that. So as you go along, you will feel things like hot, cold flushes. So hot flushes are some, is something like um, your body feeling really, really hot when there's a fan on or when there's air conditioning in the room and you feel really warm and sweaty and your pits are really wet. So it's, it's really strange. And then there are some days where you feel really cold. Um, you just want to snuggle up under the blanket because your entire body is freezing. And then things like um, loss of appetite, um, your skin starts to dry up like really fast. Some days I find that I can see the pores are really open and then there's so many fine lines but some days it's perfectly okay like smooth skin, um, no fine lines so it's normal. It really can get you. This, all these random ad hoc changes can really get you emotionally. Uh, it can make you feel like, why are you growing older? Is it time? Are you dying? Are you crazy? Are you weird? Um, it can also affect your relationship with other people, especially your spouse or your loved ones who's living with you. So I feel like women who are going through perimenopause or menopause already, need to understand the symptoms, understand how to manage uh, and balance with uh, regular exercises or good dieting, the mindset altogether. So once you understand, you are able to share this with um, your loved ones and the people around you. And then they can understand when you are a bit weird. Okay, you're not a weirdo, but you're a bit weird. And then they can somehow be more empathetic towards you, I guess. In that sense, um, you will save a lot of relationship. Uh, marriages won't crumble. Uh, you will not like argue or not talk to your siblings, you know, stuff like that. Sometimes I hear stories from my own clients saying that, oh, I have this female boss. It's always that same type, you know, female boss above 40, treating them like they are dumb or something uh, and really mean to them. So I said, perhaps, you know, you can understand them a little better. 
perhaps they are going through a lot of hormonal changes in their life and it's not their fault, neither it is um, your fault as well. But I guess having empathy and um, under a lot of understanding towards another person who's going through this is so, so, so important. So women go through so many changes. We hardly talk about it because sometimes it, uh, we are shy or embarrassed about it. But I think uh, this should not be the case. Um, perhaps if you are more comfortable talking to a close friend or your a family member, who has already gone through it, I think that will be a good start. Otherwise, if you have more money, you can go for therapy. So that's also another, another solution. Long and short of it, I feel like this perimenopausal thing is uh, it's really a long process. It's seven to 10 years. So once you start perimenopausing, it, the process will go on for seven to 10 years until you reach complete menopause. Now, once you reach uh, complete menopause, you go through another set of hormonal changes because it will be the post-menopause. And then after which, maybe about 10, 20 years, you will go through another set of changes whereby it is um, your, your senior years, where your body will start to change and um, other things will happen. So that's another story for another video. So coming back to perimenopause, for all you ladies out there, if you're 35 and above, I guess uh, some of the symptoms that I've mentioned to you, um, perhaps it, you can relate to it or resonate with it. Uh, do get help, do read up more and ask around with other women whether they, uh, how they cope, ask them how they cope and or whether they are coping and having a good support uh, group or a bunch of friends that are very supportive towards um, listening to you and um, understanding you and giving some great advice will help, right? I wish all you ladies the best of luck with your journey through uh, menopause. Uh, I am also having a hard time and I'm coping. So understanding um, my situation really, really helped me a lot. So good luck. I'll see you in the next video.